So I would like to talk about this book, The Life of St. Teresa of Avila, uh, by herself. First thing I want to say is it's <laughs> it's tough to say anything about a doctor of the church. Um, it's almost like she has to kind of speak for herself. I can still be someone who points to her and to Christ uh, in her and her holiness and... Um, so that's what I would like to do with talking about this book. You know, given her high status as a doctor of the church, um, as a saint, one of the things I was struck with was she was much more relatable than I expected. You know, I expected her to be much more of a, you know, she's the teacher, I'm down here type of thing. Um, which in certain ways that aspect still occurred, you know. I was still, in a certain way, a disciple listening to her, trying to gather what she was saying. But at the same time, I, there, are, there are very many aspects of relatability. For instance, she seems to really emphasize <laughs> how often she might be deluding herself. That's another way of saying she's not totally sure she knows what she's talking about. Um... <laughs> which I think for all of us can sometimes be relatable. Uh, there are times in life where we feel very, very confident in ourselves, and there are other times where we have no idea what we're doing. So the aspect of not knowing what you're doing, St. Teresa of Avila definitely endured some of that. She underwent a lot of pain, um, struggling with not knowing if stuff she was dealing with was authentic, authentically, you know, from God, or whether she was just being deluded or mistaken. She's also an example of a powerful woman. Um, sometimes the, the way she would speak to her authorities towards, toward men um, is a great example of how to be bold, um, of a woman being bold, and I think a lot of women nowadays can relate to that kind of um, boldness, I guess, in the face of opposition. So there's some some of that aspect going on in her life. Um, there's really a lot I can talk about, but the main thing I want to emphasize is kind of what has already been said. The main impression that I got from this book was... St. Teresa of Avila is nothing without Christ, nothing without God. Because um, it took me a really long to read this, long time to read this book because, to tell the truth, she just, she she constantly, it's, a, it's somewhat lengthy, she, so it just seemed like she constantly contradicts herself and like, which is expected because she's talking about some of the deepest spiritual things things so it's impossible to avoid paradox which is what she's really kind of getting at but like it's hard to take what she says and apply it to my life because it's hard to know exactly what she means because she's speaking so deeply um the main thread i see through the book is a weak human being who would be completely lost without the loving grace affirmation of God um, so I can't say I recommend this book as far as like yeah go recommend it to all your friends but if you're if you think you're you'd like to explore some deep spiritual reading um, this is definitely a good book for that sort of thing